Now let's see the effects of the valve clearances. Click on the key to start the engine. The valve clearance is too great and the valve opening control is noisy. Engine performance is reduced because the valve opening time is significantly reduced. Click on the key to start the second engine. The clearance is insufficient and causes unstable idling and difficult starting as the sealing of the valves is affected. In both cases, the engine's performance is decreased and the fuel consumption increases. The valve clearance settings directly affect how the engine fills with air, which affects the compression. Whatever the valve control type, you must take the following conditions into account before checking the valve clearance. The engine must be cold. The camshaft must be positioned as specified in the technical documentation. The tools that should be used are featured in the Special Tooling section in the technical documentation. Whatever the valve control type, the checking stages for the clearances are as follows. Position the camshafts to take the measurements. Measure the clearance using a set of feeler gauges. Check that the feeler gauge for the minimum clearance fits and that the feeler gauge for the maximum clearance does not. If the measurements are not in line with the instructions, Adjust the clearance according to the procedures in the technical documentation. We shall now look at the adjustment of different types of controls. Let's see how the rocker arm valve control is adjusted. The clearance is measured between the valve stem and the rocker arm. The valve clearance adjustment is carried out using an adjusting screw situated at the tip of the rocker arm. Click on the set of feeler gauges to carry out the adjustment. If the clearance is too small and the feeler gauge for the minimum clearance does not fit, you must loosen the adjusting screw. If the clearance is too great, and the feeler gauge for the maximum clearance does not fit, you must tighten the adjusting screw. Let's see now how the adjustment of the valve clearance for the tappet controls fitted with a shim is performed. The clearance is measured between the tappet shim and the cam lobe using a set of feeler gauges. The clearance is adjusted by replacing the shim with a shim of a different thickness. There are special tools for these operations. You can find them in the Special Tooling section of the technical documentation. Click on the valve to adjust the clearance. The thickness of the shim is calculated in the following way. Clearance measured plus the thickness of the old shim less the clearance recommended by the manufacturer. Let's look at the monoblock tappet valve control. The clearance adjustment is done while replacing the existing tappet with a tappet measuring a different thickness after removing the camshaft. Click on the valve to adjust the clearance. The thickness of the tappet to be fitted is calculated in the following way. Clearance measured plus the thickness of the old tappet less the clearance recommended by the manufacturer. In any case, there are shims and tappets with specific dimensions available from the parts department. In this section, we covered the following points. When the valve clearance is too large or too small, the engine's performance is reduced and the fuel consumption increases. The valve clearance check is performed when the engine is cold 
and with the camshaft positioned according to the instructions in the technical documentation. Whatever the valve control type, you must position the camshaft, then measure the clearance using a set of feeler gauges. The valve clearance adjustment is carried out using an adjusting screw situated at the tip of the rocker arm. The adjustment to the tappets is performed by replacing the shim thickness based on this formula. Thickness of the new shim equals clearance measured plus old shim thickness minus recommended clearance. A monoblock tappet valve control is adjusted while replacing the tappet with a tappet measuring a different thickness after removing the camshaft. 